We'll do a quick demonstration of kind of a classic Marshall guitar sound um, and something that we uh, do on a daily basis here at the studio. So over here we've got a lovely little tuba 12 cabinet with some vintage uh, 30s in it. And we'll use an AKJ D19 and a Royal 121, that kind of classic uh, dynamic and ribbon uh, combination just offset from the start of the cone, the dynamic on the glue point. Um, and one of the things I really like to do as a room mic is use something with a tight polar pattern or a figure of eight actually pointing in line with the cab. Um, I don't know where I got it. I've been doing it for years and it always sounds amazing as a room mic. Um, so we'll, Ollie here will play some guitar and we'll see what it sounds like. Hi there, I'm Adam Beer, I'm the studio manager and head engineer here at the Marshall Studio. My name is Ollie Brightman, I'm the studio assistant and I help out with everything here. Yeah, so welcome to the main live room here at the studio. So this is not just a massive room, it's also a venue. Um, we've got a stage, full lighting rig, mini PA um, and having this space is a, soup, is a luxury for us. Having the space that means you're able to have everything set up, drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, whatever you want, um, without having to strike anything means that we, you're able to kind of utilize this space in a way that not a lot of studios in the UK have at the moment, which is being able just to leave stuff up. Um, we're able just to go, cool, we'll do that, we'll come back to it. And it means that after week two, you don't realize that you don't like the drum fill, you can come back and change it again. Um, you see we've got plenty of backline, We've got uh, Natal drums and Marshall amps, but we're not snobs. If you bring something else, you can record with it, it's okay. Um, we've got a new piano down at the end, which has recently just come into the studio. It's uh, a Beckstein Baby Grand from 1890, and this was George Michael's personal piano. So we're really lucky to have it. And it goes to the philosophy of what we're trying to do here is we're not trying to gatekeep. So if you come to the studio, you get the space, the gear, the piano, Nothing's kept from you. It's all part of the deal, as it were. Um, today is the first time we're going to mic it up because it's just settled in. So we have no idea what it's going to sound like. We've just done some, a super simple setup of a couple of U87s and a room mic. Ollie, although not a piano player, will play some um, and we'll see what it sounds like. But I'm really excited because it'll be the first time that we've heard it recorded. So hopefully it'll sound good, but we'll find out in a second. So. Um, this is the first time we've ever mic'd up that piano, so I've just gone for something super standard, gone for uh, um, a couple of U87s over the vague, over the high and the low sections, and then a ribbon as a room microphone, and you can squash through the BBC Neve um, limiters. See, it's in number one there, uh, on the left there. Yeah. Um, so the two microphones over the piano are in phase, that's fine. And now I'm just kind of thinking about what I want this room microphone to be. I think I kind of want it to be a bit crunchy and distorted. So I've run the sensitivity really hot. Um, and now I'm kind of just thinking about how that fits in with the two other microphones. But this is a complete and utter learning curve because this is literally the first time we've mic'd the piano up. Um, so 
to make work for me anyway. Yeah, just the yeah, just the three microphones there. You got the high, the low, and the rear microphone. out of the room mic, it's not going to be a bit too flubby. It's Ollie, our studio assistant in there. We'll do a quick demonstration of kind of a classic Marshall guitar sound um, and something that we uh, do on a daily basis here at the studio. So over here we've got a lovely little tuba 12 cabinet with some vintage uh, 30s in it. And we'll use an AKG D19 and a Royal 121, that kind of classic uh, dynamic and ribbon uh, combination just offset from the start of the cone, the dynamic on the glue point. Um, and one of the things I really like to do as a room mic is use something with a tight polar pattern or a figure of eight actually pointing in line with the cab. Um, I don't know where I got it. I've been doing it for years and it always sounds amazing as a room mic. Um, so we'll, Ollie here will play some guitar and we'll see what it sounds like. So we've got uh, three microphones on the cab. We've got this, which is the uh, D19 on its own. It's got all the bite and crunch that you want from a kind of rock guitar. Um, that's the ribbon, it's got all the creamy warmth and bottom end on it together. You kind of get that perfect kind of tone. Um, and then if you include that little um, room mic, just for a bit of space, you find that you get kind of the classic big rock guitar sound. Um, I'll just put uh, a few low pass filters on. I think I've just given a slight boost in the mid range on that D19, just to, otherwise, it's too biting. Um, but kind of a classic guitar sound to that really. So I find that the EQ is incredibly forgiving um, on the way in. So it's, it's actually very similar to the, to the UAD um, 1073 EQ, that the cuts and boosts you do are really sweet. So you find that you, you're not ever, the, the, the Q isn't ever too, too tight. So it's not ever a hard cut or a hard boost that, that kind of makes it sound unpleasant. It's really gentle and and, and forgiving when you're EQing on the way in, which really gives you kind of a bit more confidence to go out there and really hack at the signal in a way that 
makes things sound nice, I suppose. Kind of, it was <laughs> described to me as all you're doing is turning things up and down, up and down, up and down throughout the, throughout, that's all, that's all record production is and all recording is. Um, so it's nice to be able to turn things up and down in a tasteful way um, through the EQs there. And you'll find that kind of the bus amps over here at the monitor section, um, when you go to, you can go straight into tools. Tools actually lives at the bottom of the, the EQ. So we go sensitivity switch, EQ, out to the patch band tools, and then back for the routine module, your pan and then your, uh, your Q and rev sense. Uh, that's obviously, well, that's how we've chosen to run it. You can change that to have it on the, um, the outputs. So you get a really clean signal into Pro Tools. And then if you want, you can put it through the monitor section on the way out, which is kind of that extra level of Neve warm and punch. Um, so from, on guitars, having kind of three microphones with the, the room and the, the, kind of the two on the cab um, gives you that flexibility to kind of go from harsh to get through and cut through the mix or you know, the, the low end to kind of help fill in where the bass and the, the, the drums are. Mm -hmm. 